over the course of five days, if you commit to this, you are going to see some transformations that are pretty incredible. This is for people who are feeling perhaps a little sluggish, um, lack of energy, maybe you're feeling a little bit um, depressed, you know, just kind of ho-hum, um, or vice versa, if you are like, okay, I'm gearing up to accomplish some pretty amazing goals and I need more vitality. Hello everyone, it's Anahata, how are you? I'm just gonna put my sunglasses on, it's very bright. I wanted to um, reach out to you all to invite you to a very special free five day challenge that I'm hosting in my assisting frequency group. Now, if you are curious about water bending and um, you've been following me for any amount of time, it's time to jump in and try it because I'm gonna be hosting a five day challenge. And all you need to do is have spring water on hand. I'm gonna teach us how to bless it. And then I'm gonna challenge everyone to drink only blessed water for five days straight. Now, of course you can eat food, but I'm also going to teach us how to bless the water molecules in the food we eat. And so, over the course of five days, if you commit to this, you are going to see some transformations that are pretty incredible. This is for people who are feeling perhaps a little sluggish, um, lack of energy, maybe you're feeling a little bit um, depressed, you know, just kind of ho-hum, um, or vice versa, if you are like, okay, I'm gearing up to accomplish some pretty amazing goals and I need more vitality to stay focused and uh, really just understanding what it takes to get to where you want to go and actually taking the steps to do it. It's one, it's one thing to say you're going to do something, but it's entirely another to actually stick with it and go for it and persevere. Uh, and if you're a heartpreneur, you know, you know, it's ups and downs and round and round and, you know, um, this will be a, a dose of you got this and also a gateway to open up the people, places and things that serve your mission, that support you in your path. I absolutely love when people send me messages about the peace they feel after they drink less water on an ongoing basis. And so just five days of this, you're going to see a shift in the way you respond to what's happening around you. Things will feel more okay. You're gonna have less triggers. Innately, this is what happens with everyone. It's almost like you are centered in the eye of the storm rather than the out, outer ragged edge of chaos. You know, things are just doable. You've got more of a confidence in your step. Um, it's sort of like the queen of pentacles energy that is in my best-selling book, Light Memory, an Alchemist's Guide to Waterbending, and also happens to be this week's podcast. So there's two steps. One, if you're curious, listen to the podcast. I'll put it here, the link in the description of the video. And secondly, if you are wanting to try it, you're encouraged to join the Assisting Frequencies group and go to the event tab, you'll see the spring cleaning, the five day water challenge. Now, why do I call it spring cleaning? Well, it's a detoxer as well, right? If you think of your body in terms of vibrancy, that is your capacity to grow and expand, there's a limit to the amount of prana that we have. And this is why, you know, some people can't achieve their healing response is because they don't have enough vital energy left over. And that's indicative of a society that is, you know, locked in fight, flight and frozen mode. We are in stress response. And so taking us out of that, getting the rest we need, 
getting the nutrition we need, grounding your energy into Gaia, connecting, unifying. This is um, the seven tools of restoration, which the blessed water will facilitate. Reflection, releasing, rewiring old outdated patterns that no longer serve you. Reuniting with the whole, resonating with the desire that you have and therefore becoming a match, it is so. And of course, rejoicing, the joy that is felt when you feel connected and held and supported and vibrant. And when you let go of the things that don't serve you, you free up that space for vitality and you increase your capacity to grow, to live and to evolve. And we absolutely activate evolutionary DNA with blessed water. And it's a science. I go into it in Light Memory, my book. But if this intrigues you, all levels of alchemists are invited to this five-day challenge. We're going to do this together. We're going to make the commitment to drink only blessed water. And all it's going to take is your commitment a, and a vessel of your choice, hopefully a gallon, so that you don't have to keep doing it every day. You can just have your gallon of water that's blessed. And um, glass is better than plastic. And I'll teach you how to do it. And it's very easy. You can make this change for you and your family, for your pets, for anything in your life that consumes water. Um, and uh, everyone reaps the rewards of having structured, blessed, sanctified water when you optimize water. And I'm not talking about chemically. I'm talking about energetically. You create a liquid crystalline supercomputer which is capable of pulling through the eighth dimension, Akasha, anything you require. Again, I talk about this throughout my book, like memory. All right, guys, love to you and yours. I will put the link to the group in the description of this video. Have a great day. Bye for now.